what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel my name is amanda marie if you're new to my channel then welcome if you're already a part of the amanda marie family then welcome back thank you guys for coming over and watching another fragrance video with me your love and support for my channel is greatly appreciated and i just want to say thank you right, for those of you that are new to my channel over here what i talk about is fragrances i love to smell good i'm a collector yeah i just love everything about fragrances i have for years and i'm here to share my fragrance collection with you guys so if you're interested i hope that you stick around so in today's video we're going to be talking about middle eastern fragrances i have over the last actually i've been buying middle eastern fragrances since i started talking about fragrances on youtube what i found out is a lot of middle eastern fragrances have kind of turn it to be like dupes but some of them are very individual i do have two here that i feel like are very um different and individual in their own way but a lot of these uh other fragrances actually have three that i feel like are very um individual like they have their own scent um but the other ones that i have here do kind of remind me of other fragrances so we gonna get into it i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this one particular house because i have talked about them over and over again i'm sure if you are in the fragrance community if you're into fragrances you've probably seen a ton of videos of other people talking about these fragrances as well so i'm not gonna spend too much time on those fragrances so Let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first right. fragrance house I want to talk about is Al Haraman. I have four of their fragrances. Do I have four? Yes, I have four Al Haraman fragrances. So this fragrance house is Middle Eastern, but in my opinion, they have a lot of dupes, okay? Really, all four of these fragrances smell like other popular fragrances. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'll start with my most recent purchase, and this is... Aventure Film by Al Haraman. One time for the bottle. The bottle is gorgeous. Beautiful bottle. And I did get this one off Amazon. And I cannot tell you how much I spent for it because I don't remember. But I know it was very affordable. And this is a dupe for Creed Aventus Her. And I have smell. I do have a... Every time I smell this, it just... Man, it just brings me to my knees. It smells so good. I do have a decant of the real Creed Aventus Her. And you guys, when I tell you, this is 98% spot on dupe for Creed Aventus. I know there are a few people out there who have the real Creed Aventus Her. And they don't really care for this dupe. The Creed Aventus Her is like $400 it's expensive okay it's by creed um and i feel like if you don't want to spend the coin on that this is the perfect dupe if you're into creed aventus her okay if you're looking for a dupe this is the perfect one i'm not gonna lie i'm just keeping it real with y'all i love it okay. the next one is definitely a favorite of mine y'all can see my uh dent can y'all see my dent let me see oh there you go y'all see my dent <laughs> This is, again, by Al Haraman. This is the Amber Oud Rouge, okay? It says Rouge here at the bottom. You turn it over. The bottle is red, hence the name Rouge. Okay, so this is a do for uh, Maison Francis Kirk de Jean's Baccarat 540 Extrait. Okay, this is, this is a dupe for the Extrait. And I, listen, when I tell you this is Baccarat, hands down. It is 98% spot on a dupe for the Baccarat. I bought this one on Fragrance X for around $60, probably uh, almost two years ago. So it's been a while. I've had it for a while. It's been over a year. And as you guys can see, I love it. The bottle is almost gone. And I do have the original Baccarat Rouge 540. Y'all know that fragrance is very, very pricey. I have the um, the original and I have the extract version. But I love to wear this one, honey. When I don't want to pull out my expense, I want to smell like Baccarat. 
but I don't want to spray my Baccarat. I use this right here. Okay. The next one from same house. This is the Al Haraman Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. And all the names are here. And what happened when I went to, actually when I went to buy, when I went to buy this one, I actually ended up getting the gold edition. So be careful when you're buying these fragrances, the bottles all look the same. You have to read, okay? Because you're messing around and did what I did and buy the wrong bottle and you'll be upset, okay? But this is the tobacco edition. This is a dupe for Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, okay? And I don't have the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. I don't, do I have a decant? I don't think I have a decant for it. But anyway, I have smelled it before in the store. And I think this is a spot on dupe for that fragrance. Again, 98%. I can't give it 100% because it's not the real deal. Y'all know how I go. But this is spot on. This, this is definitely a heavy hitter fragrance. And I absolutely love it. I smell a beautiful vanilla scent from this fragrance and the tobacco is not very smoky at all. It complements, the tobacco complements the vanilla very, very well. It kind of reminds me of sitting by a fire drinking a vanilla latte. That's what it reminds me of. I think it's gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear it. I am going to probably get a travel size of the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille because I do like that fragrance. But this is Al Haramain Tobacco Edition. The next one is Gold Edition. Okay, and y'all can see I've put a dent in this one as well. Now, this one is a dupe for Yoruba Pura by Zhirzhov. And I do have a decant of the Yoruba Pura and I will say yes, yes, yes. It smells just like Yoruba Pura. And I was very turned off by this fragrance at first. I don't know why. Like, even when I first got it in the mail and I sprayed it, you guys, the, the smell lingered in my house for two days. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot wear this fragrance. Like, And I love a good heavy hitter. Y'all know me. I love a good beast mode fragrance, but this one? this one scared me i'm not even gonna front like i was so scared to wear it and my friend came over she smelled it she was like this is amazing why are you not wearing this i was like girl i'm scared and she was like ah, let me have it then i was like no I, I kept of course you know i kept it but i wore it out one day fell in love with it i had to get a decant of the real yoruba pura so i can make you know like a contrast, compare it. I wanted to compare them. And they smell just the same. They smell just the same, you guys. So I know Yoruba Pura is really hot right now. A lot of people on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, they've been talking about the uh, Yoruba Pura by Zhirzhov. And if you don't want to spend that coin because Zhirzhov fragrances are very pricey, you don't want to spend that coin, get you the Al Haraman Amber Oud Gold Edition. You will really enjoy it. Look at the dent. I'm telling you, it is what it is. You guys, listen, I have a lot of fragrances. As you can see, I have a lot of fragrances. It will take me the whole year to go through my fragrance collection. And I'm, and I'm, I'm okay, I'm having a little bit of a rant right now. Just one second. I'm getting to the point where I'm narrowing down my collection. My collection is mostly now filled with fragrances that I thoroughly enjoy. Not necessarily popular, okay, but that I really, really, really enjoy. And you can always tell by a person's dent how they enjoy the fragrance. And as you can see, there's a dent there, okay? There is a dent here so i'm just saying if you could see this one you would see a dent because i wore this all summer 2021 this is bay for me okay compliment beast i'm just saying so this is ragba this is from latafa 
Okay, I have another fragrance here from the top of. We'll get into that. I've actually talked about this one before on my channel. Um, I love this. Oh, this is good. Now, now this is a fragrance that people, a lot of people don't like. It takes a certain kind of person, personality to pull this fragrance off. And so, if you're interested in smelling it, I would say, um... See if you can get a decant, okay? And I, y'all know I get all my decants from Decant X, okay? I will link them down below. I don't know if they have this on their site, but that's where I get all my decants, all right? Um, I love this. When I smell this, it instantly I do get a Middle Eastern vibe. And just from the juice, you would think, ooh, you know this fire, right? The juice is very dark. And the, I believe that's from the vanilla. So when you have a lot of vanilla in fragrance, after a while, it starts to oxidize or turn dark. Don't let that fool you, okay? When I tell you this is a very soft Middle Eastern fragrance to me because y'all know they can come off very heady. This is very soft in my opinion and I enjoy it. It smells like a vanilla Coke to me. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. I've slept in this fragrance. Um, it's gorgeous. I've worn this fragrance out. I've literally like tried to bathe myself in this fragrance because it, it snatched me. It snatched my soul when I first smelled it. I was like, ooh, I love it. It does kind of put you in the frame of mind of Shagoff Oud, which I'm going to talk about here in a second. But it's lighter than Shagoff Oud. It's lighter, okay? So if you if you like Shagoff Oud, but you think it's too heavy, try this one. I think you'll really, really, really like it. Now, like I said, it ain't for everybody. It's not for everybody. If you can, try to get a decant and go from there, okay? My next one is from the same house. This is also from La Tafa. This is Oud for Glory, and this is what the bottle looks like. Listen, the bottle is giving, okay? The bottle is gorgeous. It's weighty. It's heavy. This is like a matte black. I love this. I love this bottle. In my opinion, this is a dupe for Oud for Greatness by Inicio. And if you are familiar with Inicio fragrances, hopefully I'm saying it right, um, the bottle does look like this one. I think it's either green and gold or purple and gold. I can't remember. But I do have a decant of that as well. And I would say yes. I would say this fragrance is about... Uh, I'm going to say 95% exact. The same as the Inicio Oud for Greatness. It's, it, it smells just like that. It smells very, very good. Um, and I enjoy this one. This one, in my opinion, is a, is light as well. Definitely, definitely lighter than Shagoff Oud. It does have a Middle Eastern smell to it, but it smells just like Oud for Greatness. So if you like Oud for Greatness, you'll like this. I think I spent probably $40 for this, more or less, on Amazon. So it was a good buy. I'm not the person to really sleep with fragrances, so... If I tell you I slept with these and I enjoyed it, trust me, they are light. And that's coming from a person that loves heavy hitter fragrances and I'm a big over sprayer. These are like puppy dogs, okay? Very, very light. If you are someone who is a heavy sprayer and you like loud, heady, obnoxious, beast mode scents, you will probably agree with me if you smell these they're not that loud okay they're loud but they're not necessarily beast mode in my opinion i want to say on these you get probably like a good four to five hour wear and then you will need to respray so see where i'm going with that let me but, just actually this was my very last purchase if you guys follow me on instagram you would have saw me post something about this fragrance this is from this is from the top of, no this is from armoff okay i had another armoff fragrance i had club de nuit by armoff and i sold it on macari it smelled just like 
Coco Mademoiselle and it was a huge bottle. I didn't really need it because I haven't even put a dent in the real Coco Mademoiselle that I have right now. So I was like, eh, this is giving me, did I put a dent in it already? Oh, slight dent, slight. Wow, okay. This is giving me La Via Belle vibes. Okay, La Via Belle. What else is it giving me? It's giving me a lot of orange blossom. Uh, it's giving me maybe like a coffee note. It's giving me um, vanilla. It's giving me sugar. It's giving me La Via Belle. And I'm trying to think of what else it could smell like. Maybe Miss Dior. Maybe Miss Dior. Um, maybe uh, Trezor La Nuit. It's, it's giving me a very syrupy, sweet, um, floral, white floral, orange blossom vibe. And it just, it takes me to La Via Belle. It takes me to La Via Belle. And I've spent probably like 20 something dollars. No, no, no. I spent I spent like forty dollars on this. That's right, because I remember being upset about that. I spent over forty dollars on this on Amazon, and then turned around and saw it on Fragrance X for twenty two dollars, which I should have went to Fragrance X first, because usually I do when I feel like a fragrance is slightly like fragrances like this are slightly too high, and I didn't do it. I didn't even trust my judgment. I just purchased it and went on about my day. Then when I got it, I looked it up. It is on Fragrance X for, like I said, 22 bucks. And so if you are into La Via Belle and you don't want to spend $100, because I feel like La Via, last time I saw an advertisement for La Via Belle, it was like $109. So $22. So the math has to math. Okay. <laughs> But I do like that. Our moth is another uh, Middle Eastern fragrance house. They, they do a lot of dupes, okay? Um, I know they have a nice dupe for, like I said, Coco Mademoiselle. They have, uh, I want to say Club de Nuit Noir. Is it Noir or Intense? It's maybe a dupe for Creed. And they have a dupe for um, Dolce Gabbana's Light Blue. So they they do a lot of dupes as well, kind of like the Al Haraman line. Okay. Right. These two are from the same house. These two are from Afnan. Okay. This was our Moff. This one is Afnan. These two are Afnan. And my girl Spicy Looks hipped me onto this because she posted it on her Instagram. And she talked about it. This is beautiful, you guys. This is very feminine. This is very florally sweet. I think it may have some caramel in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, and it lasts all day long. It lasts all day long. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I love the bottle. I think the bottle is unique. This fragrance is called Rare Tiffany. I don't know if I said that. This is Rare Tiffany. I don't know if you can get it on Amazon. If you can, you guys, I will put the links down below. If you can't, I will try to find other links for you, okay? But this is Rare Tiffany. Love, 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 love. This fragrance is beautiful for you. I mean, I guess I could get away with wearing it right now if I wanted something very feminine, florally, sweet, um, I could definitely, this is the type of, honestly, okay, this is the type of fragrance you really can wear all year round, and I want to say this is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, so you're definitely going to get your money's worth from this one. Now, this one right here is Ornament. This one is no longer available on Amazon, and I'm going to have to see where I can help y'all find it, but baby, this fragrance went ham on TikTok. I was lucky enough to watch, see a TikTok video from this one young lady I like to watch. Her name is Fun Fume. Fun Fume. Cute girl. I love to watch her TikTok. She's very creative. And she talked about this fragrance. And I was like, oh, yes. Let me see. Because I trust her judgment. 
I bought it, Ugh, fell in love with it. Oh my God, this is amber, this is vanilla, this is salt. This is a spot on dupe for Olympia Intense. I don't like the original Olympia, but I love the Olympia Intense. And this is a spot on dupe. If you look at the color of the juice, the colors are very similar. Let me show you. This is the Olympia Intense, and this is Ornament. So the juice is similar. The juice is similar, and the funny thing is I bought this one, and I turned around not knowing, not knowing that this smelled like this. I got them in the same week. I opened them up literally a day apart, and I said, wow, they smell just the same. Just the same. The same. I will not be giving them up, though, because... I will be getting a backup of this. I can't find this no more, but I will be getting a backup of this because I love it oh so much. As y'all can see, I have put a little dent, baby, in this, honey. I have put a dent in her. Oof. I'm tempted to spray it right now. I love it so much. It's gorgeous. Even if I don't want to use this, if I can't find this, I can definitely use my ornament. And it is gorgeous. This it smells amazing. It smells amazing. If you're able to find it, you will enjoy it. You will really, really like it. Okay. And I think it's one of those fragrances where you can wear it all year round because of the amber. It's it's funny because this fragrance does that. Like I can totally wear this now because of the amber. But when it gets hot, it's good for that too because it kind of reminds you of a coconutty, beachy type of fragrance. I don't know. It's awesome. I don't know how they do that. And I just love All it. Right, you guys. So my last two fragrances. I've talked about this one before. This is Bay. This is Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. Love the bottle. It has like a quilted side. And then it has like a, a gold inside here. Just like a piece of gold. But this is Bay, y'all. Oh, this is... Oh. Mm, mm, mm. This is good. This is a dupe for Lancome's Eau Bouquet. I do not have Lancome Eau Bouquet. And I do have it on my list though. And I'm wondering if I really need it because I have this. Maybe I can spend that money on something else. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense for me to buy the same fragrance, you know. And that's another thing I'm going to get out of. I, I want to get out of buying the same scents because I have I have a scent profile that I kind of been sticking to and what I found out is that I'm buying the same fragrances they're not made by the same perfume house but they smell the same and I gotta I gotta break myself out of that but anyway this is beautiful it also puts me in the frame of mind of Delina exclusive I get a pretty vanilla out of this I get a pretty rose I get incense uh, I get oud this is gorgeous gorgeous okay I want to say I didn't get this one on Amazon I got this one actually on fragrance X for like $50 for my birthday last year so I've almost had this fragrance a year now and I just love it I cannot stop smelling it mm. gorgeous Ooh. okay my last fragrance this is from oh i can't read that this is from all rehab i did get this one off of amazon and somebody on tiktok talked about this one too i can't remember but this is coco musk by all rehab and this is gorgeous i just want to spray a little bit on me this is pretty y'all y'all know what this reminds me of Nestle Quick, the powder, okay? The powder. Y'all know this. When we didn't have money to buy chocolate milk, your mama bought you that Nestle Quick. Came, it came in the tin can, about this big. You scooped it out in a glass of milk, stirred it up, and voila, you had chocolate milk. Y'all know, don't play. That is what this is. This is a sweet cocoa marshmallow sweetness is gorgeous 
Now, um, I, I like to use this to layer with because it is pretty on its own, but the longevity is not uh, there necessarily. You know, it has a low to moderate longevity and projection. So I like to mix this or uh, layer this with other fragrances that I feel like need a little bit something sweet, you know. Um, and that's what I use this for. But this would make a pretty nighttime scent. Um, again, good for layering, okay. I really enjoy this. And the best part about this, I did get this off Amazon. I spent $10 on this. And this is a... What size are you? This got to be at least... This is 50 mLs, okay. 50 mLs, $10. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that with a stick. Beautiful. Beautiful scent. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Yeah, I am really getting into Middle Eastern scents. Like, I love them. I feel like they just go with me. They're loud. People can smell me. They're very unique. They're very different. You definitely have to have a keen nose, a nose for that to handle it. But I think they're worth a try, especially the Al Haraman fragrances because they smell like the um the expensive fragrances that we love right Tom Ford um Baccarat and stuff like that Creed so I would definitely if they, if I had to recommend a house for you to try it would definitely be Latafa and Al Haraman and Armaf I'll love them, okay? I'll love them. <laughs> but these are beautiful. So, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what Middle Eastern fragrances you're into. Um, also, if you are a lover of fragrances, I would love for you to join my family. Click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.